Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you work it on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. Now let's see what energy wants to come out. Well, look, I only take this one because it turned over, and it's a good one. It's the Eight of Cups energy. Now, it says change. There is change. You could have walked away from a situation that no longer served you, or you're changing for the better in regards to yourself and what it is that you have going on. So you're leaving something behind, and that is Three of Wands, because you see what the future may bring, or you feel that um, there is some type of growth in the uh in the unknown and so uh you're looking ahead and trying to figure out what it is that you need to do the seven of cups energy yeah there's possibilities there's options for you but page of wands energy uh you are not living in the past and you're not worried about the future you're living in the present moment the page of wands energy says that yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment so enjoy the Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, and this is restriction. This is you overthinking. It says restriction because if you don't take this energy and run with it, then you're just going to be in stagnation. You're going to be overthinking situations, and you're not going to move forward. Today is a new moon, 6-6, uh, six, six. so I believe that this is a time for rebirth. This is a time for you to be able to make the decisions that you want for yourself, and sometimes when it comes to um, why you hesitate on doing that. The universe is like, no, no, no. Like Drake says, nah, nah, nah. Yes, I am a Drake fan. And uh, we won't discuss how I feel about the whole battle. But anyway, that's just because I'm a fan. And yeah, there you have it. So therefore, you have to be the one to make the decisions and realize that there are possibilities out there. There are lots of options when it comes to what your purpose is and you searching for things and you know the choices that you have but again it could be an illusion if you stay stagnant eight of swords energy so we have two eights out you know the eight energy excuse me is you advancing you being able to move forward but at the same time yeah rest and rejuvenation you pulled your energy back in order for you to make these types of decisions and that comes with understanding what your destiny is the will of fortune the ebb and flows of life you know either you're going to roll with the punches or you're going to you know be able to um well, i was going to say roll with the punches or you know uh go with the flow it's kind of uh the same energy but with the will of fortune also it could be you just making decisions you can hear my grandbaby in the back um making decisions to um like get out of certain life cycles and look at things and have turning points. And that's what's going to bring the material harvest that you seek, the things that you've been working on. And if you look at these two cards, uh, both of these guys have their hands out and they're open to receive. And so, you know, you have to be the motivation to be able to have this uh, success, the victory that you you seek and that you know is there. You just have to get out of your own way and get out of your head and stop letting things and situations that you have no control of pull you back and that bottom of the deck is the universe yeah so the world card this tells you that you have to move forward but this is also positive movement with the eight so again the eights are all out here we have the heart chakra here we have the mental conflict and we have sacrifice um which is <clears throat> excuse me the hangman energy surrendering so here's the thing you have to surrender to the things or you're going to be in limbo you know hangman energy is also you trying to figure out what it is that you need to do this is restricting yourself this is you having to let go and you also needing to sacrifice certain situations in order for you to be able to get through a situation or to change a situation and so that's where you've been holding on and trying not to make a decision but you've been trying to motivate yourself because you see something out there you're just not going for it because at some point you're in mental conflict about the ebb and flows of life like what if i do this and so that's why the page of wands energy comes out when it says yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment because like oh rafiki says you can either run from it yes the past can hurt but you can learn from it or you can run from it and so what you're choosing to do is to learn from it because at so long you've been stagnant and you've been running from it and so now the material harvest is here it's here it's right here at your door it's telling you you can have anything that you want you just have to be able to understand and get out of your own way with the mental conflict that 
you have talked yourself out of. You know, it's like you have a tough decision to make because you've been like avoiding certain situations and that's why you've been going with the flow. And so when it comes to the heart chakra, I tell you guys all the time, send strength and healing, period, because no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson, whether it be a job, whatever it is. It's time for you to have success and to see your material harvest because you've been so patient in regards to letting things happen, positive movement forward. You're going to try to move forward as positive, positive as possible or as peaceful as possible, but you still are playing in your mind, rethinking and restricting yourself because of how you feel somebody else is going to feel. If that makes sense, you know, you don't want somebody to be mad at you because you're deciding to step away, walk away and to be, you know, to really go after the things uh, because you've sacrificed for so long. Now it's just time for you to just get out of this um, energy of, you know, the hangman and re stop restricting yourself and use the universe for what it is. And that's just time for you to move forward. Everything is going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. And when it comes to you having the spiritual journey i'm going to pull from the uh, finance deck to see what you're working on you're going to be abundant no matter what or to see what messages come out you're going to be abundant no matter what but again it took for you to get to this point to where you had to realize yeah that growth and envy can't be in the same um the same wheelhouse does that make sense with the wheel of fortune it says could be uh you could be envying other people's financial success try not to live beyond your means just to keep up with with the others others could be envying your success careful uh who you trust um with the money matters and so here's the thing if somebody if you're worried about what somebody else is doing and how much help you've given them again the past again I said the ebb and flows, the past can't hurt, right? But you're not going to be able to grow if you're looking and checking for pe people's pockets. And it's not necessarily that you're like, oh, I'm jealous of this person because they're doing this. No, because you gave them the ammunition to be able to do this. You saw potential in them. And therefore, now they could be envious of you because they know that if they keep you stagnant, then you're not going to ever move out of that. You'll always be there to make sure that they're okay. But if you say, whatever, I'm deciding to move forward, you're going to be victorious, you're going to outshine them, and then they're going to start resenting why you have changed and all this other stuff. So you're looking at it um, from a heart shocker's perspective and be, being like, you know, I love you, I've been staying here too long, and they're going to want conflict. It, does that make sense? And so with the growth being here, it says expect good news and money matters, a raise or a new job offer. Money will soon start flowing to your business. Promising opportunities await. All it took for you was to step out on faith and get out of hermit mode and basically just stop being in mental conflict with yourself and being able to sacrifice a little bit more for yourself. And the past energy is here. It says something from the past is coming back, perhaps an old job or unfinished project. It says look to the past to understand the future, um, a lesson it to, excuse me, look to the past to understand the future, a lesson. It says an experience or an old skill. It says you could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past. And so, again, legal is here. But the past energy, oh, yes, the past can hurt. But you can either run from it or you can learn from it. You're deciding at this point, I'm not running from the people's opinions of what I decide to do I'm not allowing people to restrict me or certain situations to restrict me I'm just going to move forward positive and that's you learning from your heart chakra you know your heart chakra just lets you know basically that you know you have it's like you have the ability to love to be emotional to be balanced and also when it's blocked you know it's like loneliness emotional uh pain and so um uh, you know your affirmation it says I am loved and in touch with uh, myself and so here's the thing your heart chakra is I send strength and healing period to a person place thing or a situation because no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher you want everybody to win but in that same process when it comes to you um, growing people can be envious of that but if you keep if you start to resent the things that you've done for people and also resent that they can't be there the way you've been there for them then that causes restrictions on you because now you're starting to look at things and take it personal because you're like, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't 
be in this situation. And that's not what you want to do. You just want to be like, you know, hey, I just, you know, I just want that same reciprocation when it comes to, you know, me mentally being there for you. And so, uh, yeah, if this is in regards to love, this is a love situation, cut out. It says cutting ties and separation, leaving before it gets worse, and cutting your losses. And so that is what you're doing. You're cutting your ties in order for you to be able to grow because at some point, it, yeah, you had to heal. You felt like, you know, you felt like, you know, and when it says cursed and stuff like that, you felt negative energy from dealing with all of the situations. And as many times as you went, the ebb and flows, you went back and forth and how many times you've been supportive for people. It says karmic cycle, evil eye, string of bad relationships. It says healing, reevaluating the needs, self-care, self-love, and move forward. So you're moving forward. And, you know, it's just you understanding you're not, excuse me, you're not really setting boundaries. And these same, you know, the same heart or energy that you give out is causing heartbreak. And so now once you decide to move forward, this is where the envious energy comes out. Curious about you, not over you, checking your social media. That's when you start to become the topic of the conversation because you're growing without them. And at one point you were hypnotized. So now they're going to give you that same energy that you gave them. But are you willing to accept that energy? It says captured by love, hard to resist, seduce, undivided attention. So now they have your under you you have their no they have you have their undivided attention yes and before they had your undivided attention and now here it is you cut that energy out so now it's like the mirroring energy of the toxicity that well not toxicity the codependence that you were dealing with when it came to this thing or this situation or you know a job whatever it is but you know, this is love, for instance. So, you know, even if this is co-workers being envious of you or even if this is a partner or a situation should be envious of you because they didn't give you that same that same love or that same energy that you gave them. You knew how to love somebody no matter how many flaws they felt like they you had. Yeah. So you taught them a different lesson. You taught them how to nourish themselves. And when you are not there anymore and now they're captured by you and now they're ready to. Uh, open up to you or be a part of the situation and so the past is going to revisit you it says your mind by your your body mind and soul are sacred feed yourself only that which nourishes you in the most healthy way possible so you realize that and that's where you start to cut things out and make a sacrifice to get out of this mental conflict and love yourself and so that is where you are but teacher it says you are involved in a situation that will help evolve you or someone else lessons should be considered a gift during our human experience. Remember, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. Again, this person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson, and that's the lesson that you learned. I'll pull from the uh, Hearts Hidden Secrets to see what comes out with this person. You taught them a lesson, so I believe that, yeah, now they're coming with an apology, forgiveness, return, and sorry. So they're sorry, and now they're clinging and holding on and obsessed, and now they're spying, again, secretly stalk stalking, they're worried about what you're doing because you're no longer paying attention to them. And so you've grown out of the situation. And so with that being said, the only thing that they're able to do is to try to figure out and watch your social media and try to figure out what it is that you're doing, how you moved on, and why are you so happy if they find out there is, you know, something that's making you smile. Because you're going to always post a little bit, not too much of all of the energy that's going to give them you know everything that you're doing so and you do that purposely and it's okay i'm gonna pull from the true emotional deck to see what else comes out but yeah again this person look at the cards they turned over in here a love message divine masculine and gps and closing the cycle so this person is coming with the love message uh yeah oh wait look at the card blocked blocked because you blocked them and so they're trying to do everything to figure it out and you're running from the situation. You're avoiding it because you're not really trying to nourish the situation again. You've nourished yourself. You're not really trying to give into the situation. You've closed the cycle out. And once they come back, you you know that, you know, you might feel like you're not strong enough to deal with this situation. So you close out the cycle. And now here it is. You know, you cut that this energy off. And now, you know, they're trying to give you what you wanted. And also, 
you know, they're trying, to, they're kind of jealous at that same point because they don't know what you're doing and you've healed. And so there you have it. Let me go ahead and pull from the crystal deck, heart chakra and the four agreements. Uh, don't take anything personal. I said that earlier, but relinquish self-importance. And so you always have done that, but you've done it for everyone else uh, and not for yourself. And so it says personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of self selfishness. It says because we make the assumption that everything is about me. Um, it's not that you're making the assumption that everything is about you. It's like you can't understand for the life of you why somebody just can't see how they're hurting you uh, when you have been there for them. And so when you relinquish the self-importance out of it and take yourself out of this whole situation and say, you know what, it's not me, it's them. And, you know, that's the that's what somebody will uh, flip on you instead of taking the um, uh, accountability because their accountability is different from yours. Yours is heartfelt. Theirs is just like, I'm going to blame them so they hush and, you know, I can I can turn turn the pages on them, but now you're just saying that same thing. It's, it wasn't me; it was you. You know, so they're coming with messages of love, and then it says the heart chakra, again, self self acceptance, growth, uh, and comfort, and it's the prilocyte, and it says the healing energy of the universe flows through me and into the earth. The healing energy um, of the universe flows through me and into the earth. And so that is what you need to know. You have to know that you taught this person a lesson, but your lesson only came, they only learned the lesson after you closed the cycle out. And now they're trying to figure out what you're doing and how you were able to heal and move forward. They're thinking that it's somebody else and they're clinging to the energy because you cut them out. And now you're running because you don't want to deal with this and be, get back into that mental uh, stagnation uh, mode, if that makes sense. So yeah, go ahead and do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, mean to have my back because I have yours. It is hot out here, 105 degrees right now. There you have it. Um, Yeah, I love you guys. And let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.